Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny day. What is up? Again, I'm with the gorgeous Jessica. So hello. excited. Hello. Today, we are actually going to be filming kind of a thrift with me with a thrift flip. She is very crafty, but what we're gonna do right now is actually go into the thrift store and find different pieces that we want to thrift flip. I know for myself, I'm looking for like tank top, white shirt. I'm looking for like some basic pieces that I can kind of like level them up. I'm super excited to see what we actually find in here. Definitely got our inspiration from like Urban Outfitters and Brandy Melville just because I was looking at these jeans and they're like a hundred dollars and I was talking to Jessica being like I can totally DIY that for maybe ten dollars so yeah. hopefully I actually can. Jessica is also filming <laughs> a thrift flip make sure to go check out her video let's go on in. Jessica and I were just talking about how <laughs> difficult it's gonna be to not get basically distracted by everything. I don't know, anytime I walk into a thrift store, I'm like, let me go into every single section. section or look at everything, yeah. and you're like, oh, well, what about this? I mean, like, yeah. I really like it. But no, we have a game plan. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Should we do, like, divide and conquer? Like, split I guess, up? I okay. guess, yeah. Good luck. All right, bye. Do, 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 do. I really want to try to find is maybe, like, crop tops just because Urban Outfitters and Brandy Melville obviously like only sell crop tops so I'm gonna try to find oh what's this this is kind of no it's never mind it's not cute it's not cute Alexa focus focus I just want like a plain crop top tank top also like the whole like goal of this for me since I started thrifting I start seeing like all these different companies basically selling stuff that is so easy to thrift if you're like me and you're like broke like there's ways to get it inexpensive also, there's like a lot of people here today. I don't know why. I think it's like, it's a Monday. Like, why are there people here? Tank top wise, this is what I'm trying to find something somewhere. Obviously, I may not find it exactly, but that's like my inspiration and my goal. Possibly a tube top. I wasn't looking for one, but it could be could be something. All right, so I'm kind of upset about this one because it's literally perfect. Like this is perfect, but it has like the line right there, and I don't know how I could like put a patch on. But it would either be on like the boob area, either one. It couldn't be like just straight across. I don't know. So trying. So now I am in the jean section just because Urban Outfitters is selling those jeans that literally are just jeans with paint on them for like a hundred dollars and. I think I can do it. All right, so I didn't find any jeans, which is totally fine. I have plenty of jeans that I can DIY and do all that jazz too, but now I'm in the t-shirts and I'm gonna have to try to find like a crop t-shirt. I don't know why, but I'm having a really hard time finding crop things, so I don't know how well that's going to go. I'll rock, rock your world, yeah. But yeah, that's our next adventure. <laughs> I think I found like kind of what I was looking for in the t-shirt section. I figured I'll kind of like go into another section and then maybe go back. Now I am in the dresses and basically what I want to do, what I'm aspiring to do is get a dress where I can like make a two piece. I've seen people do it and it just seems so awesome and I just don't know how to do anything. It's kind of grandma-y but I'm kind of obsessed with it. I don't know, I'm just gonna put it in my cart. Literally getting distracted at the store is just so real so a lot of times you find something that's like not the cutest but you know you could make it cute and i just want to be a creative like that so yeah all right so i got a couple of pieces I, I just bought them um two of them are just like fun pieces one of them i'm still gonna diy but it's not really like urban or like brandy melville inspired but i figured i was already here and i really wanted them we are actually going to go to Plato's closet i don't think we'll really film just because there were a couple things that we couldn't find specifically like crop tops were really difficult and i know Plato's closet usually has like a bunch of plain crop tops and still quite inexpensive so we are going to go on over to Plato's closet Woo! So now we have made it back. We, yep, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna end up 
doing eight different thrift flips. Actually, we ended up only doing five thrift flips, even though I got a bunch of other stuff to do other ones. If you guys would like to see like a part two to this thrift flips, give this video a thumbs up because we spent like all together almost 12 hours of filming. So I can only do five. Now back to the video. I have a couple things I'm gonna crop. I have a couple things that I'm going to be making into two pieces. Well, I mean, Jessica's going to be very much helping me through it. It's a team effort. Yeah, obviously like I looked on the Urban Outfitters website before to kind of get some ideas, mm -hmm. but now actually having the items over here, I am so excited just to be able to transform them. It usually so. costs just all of dollars and yeah. to like make it for a fraction of the price. It's exactly. always exciting. Let's get into it. <laughs> so the first thing nice. is going to be this dress. It looks like this. Um, I think it goes to like my knees or so and it's really cute actually. The only thing is the, when I actually like put it on, it's a little bit like off. I don't know. It just doesn't fit right. Yeah, it was $12 um, and we're gonna make this into a two-piece. So I'm first going to try this on. Jessica is gonna help me like figure out where we're gonna like cut. cut. Okay, so where were you thinking? I'm thinking, so these are where my bike shorts are right okay. now. So I think I would like the skirt to go that. It can go a little bit, it can go shorter. Mm -hmm. So so like about here. Yeah. So once Jessica marked where we wanted to cut it, we kind of lined it up with the mini ruler and put in safety pins. That way when we actually cut it, it'll be easier to make a straight line, obviously because I'm really bad at cutting straight lines anyway. So this was super helpful. And then from there, I just kind of cut, tried my best to keep it in a straight line. A little bit into the bottom portion of the skirt, but it's fine because it'll fold over onto the thing. I already failed. I literally <laughs> did one thing. We didn't realize there was a zipper, so now we're like figuring out what we want to do with that. We also might just, for the top, we might just be able to like seal off the zipper so you can make it like a zip up top. Or do you want to just get rid of it entirely? I want to, let's just keep it. Yeah. Okay. So right now there's like all these like frayed bits. Yeah. And if we leave them, they might like continue to fray even if we like, when we fold this up to make the hem. We just put it on the ends of where we cut. It ended up having us wait about 30 minutes each way because we had to do one side, then wait 30 minutes and then flip it over and do another side. And I did it on the top and the skirt. And it's crazy how just stiff this made the end, which then made when we actually folded it a lot easier because then it was kind of not breaking. And since we were gonna be using elastic, Jessica just measured how much elastic I actually needed around my waist and then cut it. What are you doing right now? So now I'm just going to take this elastic that we measured across your waist and I'm just going to attach it on. Some of the fabric is going to definitely like uh, mm -hmm. crinkle and kind of have like a nice, almost like paper bag effect, a more cinched look. So I'm just gonna attach this on. For the elastic on the skirt, just to make sure that it didn't move around, Jessica ended up sewing the ends to the skirt, just kind of going in and out of the seam. And once both ends were sewn, we then just took the liquid stitch again and folded it over the elastic. That way, again, to keep nice clean lines. And all of these we did inside out. I think I forgot to say that. Everything was inside out. That way, when it's right side out, it didn't look a little messy. And from there, there is our two piece. Honestly, I never thought I would ever be able to do this. And I'm so excited with how it turned out. I did really like the pattern of the dress, but again, like I said, it was just awkward. So making it into a two piece just gave it another life. The next thing is this dress. I ended up getting a lot of dresses, not on purpose at all. It just looks like this. It's a lime green dress. and. I saw a very similar like crop top by Nike on Urban Outfitters and I was like, oh my gosh, like this like sporty oh, so cute zip up try to zip up thing. And I definitely I would not wear it as a dress just because again it's kind of awkward. But if I like crop it or something. I feel like it's truly a yeah. look. Yeah. If you don't end up using the skirt material on that, can I have it for yeah. a skirt? Because it's so cute. A hundred percent. All right. So now because we are going to be cropping this, figure out where I want it or we're going to, we're going to safety pin where I want it and then cut it. Once I figured out kind of where I wanted the shirt to sit cropped, Jessica just put in a safety pin. That way when we cut it again, we know where to actually cut. The fabric on this was like super flimsy, which made it extremely easy to just cut. So from there, I just cut it in a straight line. Well, I mean, I tried to cut it in a straight line. I don't know how straight it actually is. 
and then marked just where we wanted to fold the top and added the liquid stitch and just folded it and kind of waited for it to dry. It's so crazy how actually simple all of these are now that I'm kind of speaking how to do them and after doing them, but super easy to make a cool, funky crop top. Obviously we did it to the other side. I don't think I said that, but on the other one, we also did it on the other side as well, folded it and then just waited about 30 minutes each side. And this is the finished look. I think it's so cute, super sporty, and it definitely reminds me of something that you would see at Brandy Millville and Urban Outfitters. And it's something that I actually kind of hated when I first saw it, but I was like, this one has potential. This one I'm probably the most excited about, but then also like scared because because I have such high hopes for it. It's this dress and the bottom, don't really like the bottom, don't really care about it, but this top part, 100% go on Urban Outfitters, you have seen something like this. It's kind of like that bustier almost yeah, style exactly. linen top. The only thing is I did try it on and these are a little bit long, so I may mm -hmm. like cut them and then kind of like move it down so it fits a little bit better and I'm going to make this into a top crop top. I have no idea, but this one I think is the most like specific to like Urban Outfitters. This one was $14, so it was a little bit more expensive, but just because it was like right there and like, Urban I, just, I had to. So I'm going to flip this inside out first. So just like with the other one, Jessica was just taking a ruler after I already tried it on and kind of told her where I wanted her to cut it. I wasn't gonna do a crop top with this one because number one, I didn't really wanna sew it. And number two, I think it looks a little bit cuter when it's actually tucked in. So she just measured under where the zipper was. That way it's just easier to kind of work with. And then from there, she put in little pins and I just cut it. This one was very easy. I ended up not, showing actually when I used the seam glue. I also ended up taking the straps and actually cutting them and then just tying them. It was just an easy way to make it so it actually fit me because it was falling off when it was just by itself. But I think it's really cute. I think it really turned out better than I honestly thought it was gonna turn out. This one is this like lettuce hem crop top and I'm really excited about this because I want to do kind of like the butterfly like patch thing. I got these little butterfly patches and I think, okay, it's just so silly how expensive they make them when it's, yes. in, it's literally just a plain shirt, tank top, whatever, and they just put it on a patch. So yeah. I figured it needed to be done. And this one was $12, which actually is kind of expensive for, for like a this. basic top, but they had like no basic tops anywhere. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why we had to go to Play This Closet because mm -hmm. there was nothing that savers, but that you gotta know your thrift stores basically. All butterflies here. I got my mini iron i think yeah. mops are terrible. they're literally the same thing no they're not yes, they butterflies are. are like cute no once i put the mini butterflies in their place i just put three kind of in a row i then ended up using jessica's pants they were like cotton pants just because there needed to be something in between the actual patch and then my little iron first time i've ever ironed on st something here we go basically i had to go over each little patch i think for 20 seconds if that is correct and then i had to flip over the shirt and then do it inside out again and then i even did it like an extra time because one of the patches was coming off i don't know what happened i think my camera died or something because i don't have the rest of the footage but this is how it turned out and obviously everyone is doing this butterfly DIY, but I do like how there's three. Okay, I think I did say in last Sunday's video about these pants when we went vintage shopping that had like flames on it and they were just mm -hmm. so cool. And I remembered like almost kind of thinking, you know what, maybe I'll just buy them. And then Jessica was like, that is so easy just to DIY. And I was like, what? I never even thought about doing that. I got these, they originally from Inker Blue. I got them for $14 and there's just some high-waisted jeans they are a little bit cropped but i figured that may be kind of perfect especially if i'm wearing like boots with them or something we're gonna do like some flames so again jessica thank you for being here moral support got you Woo! and jessica's going to draw me some flames cute inspiration that's my that's my inspiration we're gonna just hope that i can actually draw it oh and then this is like a pleather material yeah, it's kind of like pleather vinyl-y it's really cute it almost has like a texture going on once jessica did an outline of the flames she just then cut it out because basically we're going to take that and put it on the ends of the jeans basically due to timing we just used the stitch glue and glued it on there one really cool tip is we ended up taking q-tips and then dipping that into the glue and then putting it on kind of 
the patch leathery flame thing. And with that, it then didn't become bulky or kind of have like the glue building up. It was just nice and flat. And from there, I just left it to dry for about 30 minutes and that's how they turned out. We definitely wanna do another flame on the other side, but again, timing, we weren't able to do it. So you definitely will see these ones again with another one on the other side. So we are extremely exhausted. <laughs> it is now 11 p.m. It is way past my bedtime. We just finished Jessica's Thrift Flips, which make sure you go check out her channel and check out her video down below, subscribe, do all that thing. I learned so much. Yay! I have not ironed anything ever, I think. I honestly don't remember. Fun. I feel like I'm gonna be ironing things on everything. I feel like iron on patches are just like the best thing ever. Yes. Does somebody need an iron? Thrift flipping and DIYing is so much easier than I thought. Jessica and I have already talked about doing a sewing class together. So yes. get ready for more DIYs and make sure if you do like thrifting videos, thrift hauls, thrifting with me's, make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. Also to keep up to date with me during the week. Sorry, I like it. And that was emotion. amazing. Wow. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Alex and 83 And I hope you guys have a super sunny Sunday. Thank you, Jessica, for being here. Yeah. Go home, get some sleep. <laughs> Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye. Bye. Go home. <laughs> amazing. <laughs>